Welcome to the Kid Nation Extra. Hey there, Kid Nation Extra. Hi, Al. Hey, if you uh, if you got the munchies, we will dive into the favorite thing we like to make. Maybe a dessert or a go-to dish. So we'll get into that shortly. It's going to be the question of the day. Start thinking about it, guys. Okay. But, uh, Jenna, we didn't talk about this on the show. Yeah. But, uh... The boyfriend has been doing something that's been annoying you a little bit. Oh, Does you it roughly talk about it now? Roughly once a week. I think w- this is something we might have to jump on in the show as well yeah. and take some calls. Be- yeah. Because this is, I can see why you get annoyed, but also uh-huh. it's pretty funny. <laughs> I want to preface it by saying I think that if everything else in a relationship is great, some things you just need to let slide. Right. It's not like sure. there's a lot of issues. Pick he gives me no reason to not trust him. But, you know, we started dating. He had only been, he had gotten out of another relationship just, I don't know, just a few months before we met, um, which is fine. He's you had as well. You had a relationship before him. Two years. So it happens. Yeah. Two years, yeah. Not, not as recent, but uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But all that's fine. But he keeps calling my dog his ex's dog's name. <laughs> I, get that. I still call Larry George. Oh. I had my dog George for so long. Yeah. yeah. It's just. And that's the thing. And I kind of, the first time I laughed at it. Yeah, the other yeah. thing is, the ex had the same kind of dog. Yeah. A black pug? Yes. Okay. That's but why. It happens all the time. Uh, yeah. Multiple times a week. And I know it's not. I joke and I haven't. There's been no argument or anything about it, but it's obviously one of those things that's kind of like, okay, well, it's not like he's calling me her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which and is good. I, and he gives me no reason to believe anything's off. I mean, he's very sweet to me and loves me, so it's no big deal, but it's still kind of a funny thing. And when, I'm kind of like, how long? How long is this grace period? When, <laughs> when you caught him saying the name, you asked him, like, who, who's that? Like who's, who's who the, is this? Because he could have just no. Gone. I knew who the dog was. Okay, you knew. I mean, it's yeah, it's kind of funny. I actually used to follow the dog on Instagram. I didn't realize that it's a famous dog. No, but a lot of the black pugs follow each other. Oh, okay. We follow each other. I didn't. Whoa, know. that's a thing. The black pug I owners actually, follow each other. I think I'm blocked. Yeah. I think I'm blocked by the pug now. Oh no, the plug blocked you. I think so. Oh man. But no, it's just funny, kind of, kind of small world. I was like, wait, I think I follow your, that your ex's dog's pug on Instagram. <laughs> I kind of put it all together. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm not sure. He just, uh, I just turned to Wheezy and I go, it's okay. You're not as important. Like I kind of do oh, that, that yeah. kind of thing. Oh yeah. yeah. And Wheezy loves the, the boyfriend. She's obsessed with him, yeah. and he loves her. But you know, it's one of those things that I'm like, okay. Yeah. How long is this going to go on for? Uh, not too long, probably. I used to call Wheezy Maximus, in all fairness. I, yeah. You know, it's just, and he was like, oh my gosh, it's just, you yeah. know, second nature. After years of calling one black pug a certain name, I'm going to do right. it. Yeah, no, I get it. I get that. But yeah, I mean, we haven't gotten into a fight or anything. Which is good. I'm just holding on to it. Yeah. Put that in the bank of uh, if you <laughs> got to bring it up. No, I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. Uh, you everybody think does. it's no big deal, right? <laughs> Y'all break up. You go. Yeah, you know, he's gonna be walking out yeah, the door. He's gonna say, "And his name is Wheezy." <laughs> her name is Wheezy. Yeah, her. her name, yeah. yeah, come on. Now. <laughs> her name's Wheezy. Yeah, I was reading that and I was like, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't look too deep into that. No, oh, man, because he probably that that just shows that he does care about animals. And uh, there was, you know, that yeah. bug was cool. Yeah, probably. I'm yeah. sure it was. <laughs> Now, if he was calling you the ex's name, then, then, yeah, then I would understand if you're then, super mad. Then, yeah, then I you have ground. I am so worried. You know, I'm not, I've been long enough removed from a relationship, but right when you leave a relationship, get into one, you know, I get so worried that you're going to do that at some point. I mean, I know Kelly is called Alan Al, but she works with an Al. Yeah. yeah and it wasn't very like that was name. her ex. Yeah, yeah. And that's so close. So that makes sense. And Kelly but. could mask it because she, she could go, oh, Al, and. Yeah. You know? catches, he catches <laughs> it. Oh, he does catch oh, it? Oh, yeah. We always, I mean, well. we catch that when someone doesn't say your name when she says big because yeah. yeah. uh-huh. you know what nothing because alan lost so much weight and he looks so damn good right now yeah. oh, <laughs> isn't he dude how wait, did he I do it wait, i haven't seen him other than the skinny jeans he just there's i don't know what happened he loses 20 pounds and it's like night and day difference i lose 20 pounds and can you even tell i look at my face and it's still all puffy he's like would you just have a round face <sighs> He, That's good for aging, we were doing, Kelly. It is good for aging, but it's like we've lost the same amount of weight, and people are their mouths are dropping when yeah. they see him. Hmm. And me, it's just like, can we, you even tell? We I can't. Don't know. Here's the thing: why we don't say much here on the show, Kelly, is because we, we see, see you every day. day. Now yeah. I I don't see That's Alan right. every day. Maybe That's yeah. It. So the last time I saw Alan, my dude had 20 pounds on him, and when you posted that picture, 
I was like, yo, who, yeah, who's I this? I haven't seen him yeah. since Christmas party, yeah. Yeah, who, he looked like the member of a rock band. That's always how it is, Kelly. I mean, there's been times I've lost 15 pounds, no one says anything, you know? No, and it's, it's just, like, maybe it's just because you see me every day and you don't think yeah. any different. And as men, we've been programmed not to just, not to talk about weight ever. No, no. You know? We say well, hi. Anybody wants to say you look like you've lost weight, Kelly, you, have, you, okay. have you been doing something? Yes. Thank really? You. Uh-huh. I could see it in your face and in right, your whole body. Right. I mean, you have a round face, but I could tell it's kind of, uh-huh. you know, got a little Thanks. indentation. It's there. Yeah. <sighs> Al, how's your diet going, by It's yeah. going good, I think. I'm going to weigh probably today, so I'll be able have to... Have you been s- cheating and drinking? A little. <laughs> oh, my God. But no, no, no. It's good. very, 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 very little. I mean, I'm very cognizant of it. I know, but it. usually you've only been on the <clears throat> diet like a week. Yeah. yeah. That's when you're supposed to be your best. Moving Kelly's stressful, been, Kelly. Moving Kelly's stressful. been being good with her diet as well. It yeah, shows. Yeah. And she passed up on cake. She passed up on little bites of... We had a. Uh, what, what was it's it? about, though. It's like every day, yeah. every no, meal making you. the decision. Yeah. To, you have to know. make the decision every day. That's exactly right. it. I did make Alan and I together. It was uh, We were celebrating Valentine's Day anniversary, stuff like that. And somebody sent over two glasses of champagne. We made the decision together. We're going to enjoy this glass Just of champagne. One. We've been so faithful for, at that point, four or five weeks. Yeah. That's right. great. So we spur- went right back on it. Yeah. yeah. Just one little thing. Yeah, absolutely. Once you mess up, you can't say, okay. I've well, done. I've messed up, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for I'm it. I'm going to eat every no, you can't and do that. tomorrow I'll be good. Can't do that. that you got to make a decision in that moment. Not done. tomorrow, today. Agreed. Do we have a question? Yeah, oh, we do have a question of the day. We'll get to it real quick. It's a nice one from Carmen. Okay. Carmen wants to know, does anyone have a go-to meal or dessert they like to make? Jenna. Go-to meal? Yeah. I mean, we don't have time for this. Of course I do. Of course I What's have it go-to called? Go-to meals or desserts. I mean, I make a great goat cheese stuffed chicken breast. Yeah. Ooh, with like shallots and red peppers. That's kind of my go-to impress, but also healthy and delicious. Or dessert. Yeah, I make that gooey butter cake or pumpkin bars or pie. I can crush dessert. I made banana waffles this weekend. Gluten-free, dairy-free Whoa. waffles. Uh, speaking of bananas, my go-to dessert. I make a delicious banana shake. Real, <laughs> really? Yeah, my ice banana cream. shake is on point. Like an ice cream shake, not um, a protein shake. I don't. Yeah, not a protein shake. This is a dessert shake. Well, well, I got to use the milk, whole milk. I got to use the ice cream, mm-hmm. but actual bananas. I got to have my blender, the sugar, a little scoop of sugar. Oh. Some, peanut butter in there? I can put peanut butter if you request it. I usually use cajeta, but yeah, Ooh, I can do that. Yeah. Cajeta, it's ca- like. Like the caramel. Like caramel, but better. Creamy. It's like milky caramel. Like heaven. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> like a little bit of help. Not on my head. program. I'm sorry, Kelly. When no, you get off, either, Kelly. Yeah, my bo- my go-to uh, dessert treat is the quench and the strawberry kiwi drink. Nice. Oh man, it's delicious. Can you life. make anything? Um, desserts. I've I don't think I've ever made a dessert in my life. Uh, in my life. We should go to that ever. cooking class together. Mm-hmm. It was so fun. Yeah. What about you, Kelly? What's your go-to? You macaroni know. and cheese. My mother's macaroni and cheese. So good. I make it every. And when I get sick of making it. I make this uh, Mexican corn casserole dish uh-huh. that's really simple, too. And the only dessert I'm really... I can make my mom's peach cobbler. Yeah. But, man, y'all, it, it's so sweet and rich. It will lock your jaws. <laughs> Love and it. I have another recipe for an apple dump cake. Same thing. You got to want... I mean, you gotta thinking want it. about it makes my jaw quiver. Ooh. It's so sweet and rich and... We might have to make our desserts here one day on the show. Just a little bit, just so we know what we got. All right. But there you go. If you want to do the question of the day, drop it in the comment section. We'll be back tomorrow. Another temperature for you to go off to Florida with the winter warm-up. Thanks to Visit Florida. And we'll give that trip away as well. We also have Gwen Stefani on the show. And does that make me crazy? Have a wonderful Monday, everybody. Bye.